everybody, this is Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with AgentInnerCircle.com. And this week we are going to be talking about a hugely important topic and something that sellers and listing agents dread together, which is that the home just won't sell. So this week we're going to give you the four main reasons that we're seeing that homes may not sell and some tips and tricks along the way of things that you can do in your business to make sure that each of those categories are checked off and that that home gets sold. So number one, and we see this a lot, I'm sure you've heard this in a lot of places, number one is pricing, okay? And we want to make sure that we're having a conversation, right? We're having a conversation up front with the seller about what the market is realistically going to bear for their home. I know we might want to go in and, and get that, you know, top dollar listing and that's what's going to get it. But realistically, having to have that dreaded, you know, price reduction conversation is never great. And, re and really, if you price the home correctly to begin with, it's going to end up selling for more than if you have to go through rounds of reductions. So. Think about pricing to start, make sure you have that conversation with them and try to set realistic expectations right off the jump. Now we know that pricing alone isn't necessarily going to do it. And the next reason we see that homes may or may not sell, and you may guess this one too, but what do they always say? Location, location, location. And it's amazing. It's amazing where a home can maybe sell or not sell simply because of where it's located. But think about it in this, these terms and here's what you can do. A lot of times if you market the ideal benefits of a location, you'll end up with buyers who may not necessarily care about some of the downsides. Let me give you an example. Houses may be close to a set of train tracks, but is a really, really close commute to a local business that employs a lot of people and is difficult to find. So someone may be out there who doesn't really care, sleeps right through the train coming through, but they need that commute. It's all about focusing on and marketing the ideal pieces of the location because they are out there. Now, if those two don't work, we're gonna go to number three which is staging and curb appeal, okay? Now staging and curb appeal is another big one and another conversation that you wanna have with the seller right up front, right with the listing presentation about what they need to be doing to possibly stage their home or, or make it sell for a little bit more money. Sometimes this might include actual fixes to the home. We always hope it doesn't, um, but, but it does happen. Other times though, this is just a conversation with them about, hey, maybe um, boxing some of this stuff up and getting ready for the move and getting it out of the way, which declutters the home, may start doing a better job. And additionally, it never hurts to hire a professional stager. Um, they are out there for a reason as a business. Staging homes, especially empty homes, um, have been shown to sell for more money. We see stat over stat, report over report, that they sell for more money, so employing a stager may not be uh, the worst option there. In fact, it may be your best option. Now, all three of these things together, we should sell a home, right? But sometimes it doesn't happen and the home still isn't standing out, okay? And we're gonna give you the last tip here, which is kind of amazing that if this home still isn't standing out, we got one big tip that, well, it's been staring us in the face the whole time which is, guess what? Talk to the seller about why they love the home. I'm gonna say that again. Talk to the seller about why they love the home. Why did they move there originally? What are their favorite parts? What are they going to miss the most, right? What are they gonna miss the most once they leave this house? Questions like that at times can give you all of the ammunition that you might need to go out there and market that house appropriately so it sells to the right people. So I'm gonna write it down here again, and this is a big one, talk to your seller. 
ask them a whole bunch of questions about why and we have a whole set of questions for you on the Agent Inner Circle blog. Um, we, we have a, a bunch more information about all of this in the Agent Inner Circle blog that's attached with this. So if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, um, the link is somewhere in the description. You can go over to the blog, check out the article. We'd love for you to do that. But that being said, let's recap. So conversation about pricing. Market the ideal location. Staging and curb appeal. Make sure you have that conversation with the seller and it's done correctly. And then make sure you talk to your seller and ask them the right questions because in a lot of cases, they'll even try to sell that home for you. All right? So that being said, this has been Alex Camelio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with agentinnercircle.com. I would love for you to give us the share, the follow, any subscribe, whatever it might be. Um, love seeing you here. Thank you so much. And I hope you have an amazing day.